A seedy street that has a permanent place in almost every city of the country. Some call it a necessity, some others illegal. Sex trade is one reality that refuses to hide its face in our society. However harsh the reality, these women have a life of their own and reaffirming that is one woman. I was walking through the villages of Nepal when I came across rows of villages which didn't have any girls from age 15 to 45. And I was really surprised and I began to ask questions. You know, I began to ask the men, where are the women? Some of the men looked sheepish, some smiled, some giggled, some didn't answer. But a couple did and they said, don't you know, they all are in Bombay. And when I asked the question, I found to my horror that slavery existed under our generation, in our country, in our lifetime. As a journalist, you know, I'd covered war, I'd covered famine, I'd covered hunger, you know, I'd covered all kinds of things. But I'd never seen this kind of deliberate exploitation of one human being by another. So I wanted to do something about it. And uh, I decided to contact the people I knew to see if somebody would give me money to make a documentary on the subject. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation existed, agreed and I spent the next 18 months making the documentary. I went on to win the Emmy for Outstanding Investigative Journalism for the documentary I made. But it began to seem irrelevant and I thought, no, I want to do more on this issue. I was so outraged. So I gave up journalism. It's the oldest profession in the world. Working for the community of sex workers, Ruchira realized that her journey is the least easy. You know, the deeper I went into the problem, the helplessness of the women, the psychosocial trauma they were suffering from, the outer body experiences that the women were saying that they got drunk or they took drugs just to block out the experience of the men raping them. I felt anger, I felt frustration and I thought how can we change the systems? to see 12-year-old girls going through this repeatedly and then going to police officers and telling them to do something about it and the police officers would just block. They would just make me sit for hours and hours and hours outside police stations. Ruchira refused to relent and soon enough she found inspiration from the women she was trying to work for. She persevered 